Coming up, it's the High School Quiz Show quarterfinals, and we have Advanced Math and Science Academy. <laughs> Boxborough Regional High School. That's next on High School Quiz Show. Buying insurance shouldn't be a race against time. These are the most important assets you're protecting. You can talk to an independent agent about safety insurance. We'll help you manage life storms. Hi, everybody. Welcome to High School Quiz Show. I'm Billy Costa, your host, and today's matchup is the first of our quarterfinal rounds. We are down to the final eight teams, and the competition has been and is intense. And the goal, of course, is to become the next High School Quiz Show state champion and today's quarterfinal matchup has acton boxborough regional high school taking on advanced math and science academy from marlboro massachusetts so let's get right to it and meet the teams on the acton boxborough team we have michael alex aiden and spencer and the alternates on the sidelines are max and nethra and the coaches susan irvis bow miller and Rana berman by a nice round of applause Acton Boxborough representing. And from Advanced Math and Science, we have Shashank, Abhinav, Ani, and Tim. And we do have alternates, Abhiram and Rohan. And the coach, Jessica Bowen, on the sidelines. Let's hear it for Advanced Math and Science. The competition has four rounds, a toss-up, a head-to-head, -head, a category round, and a lightning round. And as always, we will start with a toss-up round, all answers are worth 10 points, and this is the only round with no point deductions for any wrong answers. If everybody's ready, teams, let's go. Located at the junction of the Mississippi and Missouri Rivers, what U.S. city is nicknamed the Gateway to the West? Yes, yeah, Spencer. St. Louis. Correct. In October 2015, who ended months of speculation by announcing he would not seek the Democratic nomination for president? Joe yes, Biden. Michael. Yes. Uh, the truth is rarely pure and never simple. This quote is from what Oscar Wilde play? Yes, yeah, Spencer. The importance of being earnest. Yes. Both Barack Obama and George W. Bush chose national security advisors with what last name? Yes, Alex? Rice. Rice is correct. Take a look at your screens. You will see a picture. What is the name of the man-eating cyclops seen here who is described in the ninth book of Homer's Odyssey? Shashank. Polyphemus. That is correct. What American first lady had a syndicated newspaper column called My Day? Yes, Spencer. Roosevelt. More specific? Eleanor Roosevelt. Yes. Uh, just two victories away from completing the first calendar year Grand Slam since 1988. Who lost to unseated Roberto da Vinci in the U.S. Open semifinals in 2015? Yeah, Spencer. Djokovic. No. Uh, it, yes, Ani. Serena Williams. Yes. Uh, Beethoven originally dedicated his Eroica Symphony to what French leader? Yes, Shoshank. Napoleon. Yes. In one of the most famous military campaigns in history, what general from Carthage marched his massive army across the Alps into central Italy during the Second Punic War? Spencer. Hannibal. Yes. Take a look at your screens. This time the question will be by video and it's coming your way right now. Hi, I'm Anna Rothschild and this is Gross Science. <laughs> Here's my question. Even though it's sort of disgusting, earwax does some pretty useful stuff, like cleaning and lubricating the ear canal. Earwax is mostly made of what protein found in skin, nails, and hair? Yeah, Shashank. Keratin. That is correct. Who is the longest reigning monarch in the history of Great Britain? Yeah, Shashank. Victoria. No, Acton Boxborough. Spencer. Elizabeth II. 
Yes, one of the biggest moments in the history of artificial intelligence occurred in 1997 when IBM's Deep Blue computer defeated one Russian chess grandmaster. Yes, honey. Kasparov? Yes, that's correct. In the biographical film Love and Mercy, Paul Dano and John Cusack both play what leader of the Beach Boys? Spencer. Brian Wilson. Yes. Scientists believe that most dinosaurs, including Triceratops and Stegosaurus, were which of the following? A. Herbivores, B. Carnivores, or C. Omnivores? Yes, Spencer. Herbivores. Yes. Math question. If you put $1,000 into an investment yielding 6% simple annual interest, then how much interest would you get at the end of two years? Yes, Spencer. 120. Yes. In 1975, Congress voted to posthumously restore U.S. citizenship to what prominent Confederate general? Yes, Spencer. Uh, Lee. Yes. Over the years, several women have falsely claimed to be what youngest Romanov daughter killed in 1918 during the Russian Revolution. Yes, Tim. Anastasia. Yes. In 2015, a federal class action lawsuit accused what Boston-based online fantasy sports company of negligence, fraud, and false advertising? Tim. DraftKings. Yes. Notoriously difficult to sing, the major general song is from what Gilbert and Sullivan comic opera set on the coast of Cornwall, England? Spencer. Pirates of Penans. No. Advanced Math and Science. Yes, Ani? Pirates of Penzance? Yes. Which of the following is a synonym for anodyne? Is it A, soothing, B, lucrative, or C, foolish? Yes, Michael. Foolish. No, advanced math you want to try. Yes, Ani? A? A, soothing is correct. With help from his friend Thomas Jefferson, what French nobleman wrote the Declaration of the Rights of Man and of the Citizen, a charter of liberties that inspired the French Revolution? Yes, Tim. Lafayette. That is correct. Hello, Earth, can you hear me? In 2015, seven months after its historic landing on a speeding comet, what space probe launched by the Rosetta orbiter transmitted this message? Yes, Ani. Philae? Yes. What English romantic poet wrote Ode to Autumn and Ode to Psyche? Yes, Tim. Shelley? No, Acton Boxborough. Give it a shot. Yes, Spencer. Keats? Yes, John Keats is correct. Math question. Water flows into a leaky bucket at five cups per minute and flows out at two cups per minute. How many minutes does it take to fill the bucket if it holds 45 cups? Shashank. 15. Yes, known for radical tactics that included hunger strikes, what suffragette leader of the National Women's Party organized protesters called the Silent Sentinels? Yes, Aiden. Alice Paul. Yes. After seven previous nominations and no wins in 2015, who finally won an Emmy for his lead role of Don Draper on Mad Men? Yes, Spencer. John Hamm. Yes. The Government Accountability Office, or GAO, investigates how the federal government spends tax dollars. It was created in 1921 under what U.S. president? Shashank. Harding. Yes. Very well, I will marry you if you promise not to make me eat eggplant. Who wrote this awkward reply to a marriage proposal in his novel Love in the Time of Cholera? Yes, Abinov. Garcia Marquez. That is correct. Despite scoring more goals than any other player in MLS history, what soccer player was not selected for the U.S. men's team for the 2014 World Cup? Yes, Ani. Donovan. Landon Donovan is correct. D-Day was codenamed Operation Neptune. The entire Allied invasion of Normandy was codenamed Operation what? Shashank. Overlord? Yes. In physics, scalars are quantities that have only magnitude. What quantities have both magnitude and direction? Yes, Ani. Vectors? Yes. The volts of a river runs through what capital city of the Czech Republic? Yes, Spencer. Prague. Yes. Enrique Peña Nieto is the president of what country? Yes, honey. Mexico. Yes, the Italian artist Canaletto. Oh, uh, there's the bell that ends the round. The score right now, Acton Boxborough. 150 points, advanced math and science, 180 points. Let's give it up for both of you. 
<laughs> okay, the head-to-head -head round is next. First, we're going to take a few minutes, and by the way, a breather uh, to get to know the players a little bit better. You've been here before. You know the drill. It's not your first rodeo, the way this works. I'm going to ask you a question. Each of you will have a chance to answer. We're going to start over here with Acton Boxborough. What attribute from childhood do you wish more adults retained and why? Michael. I would say imagination. Mm-hmm. Um, purely because I think adults lose it when they grow up, and that's a shame. Was he talking specifically to me? Uh, Alex, how about you? I would say a sense of free spirit. Uh, I feel that's a really important way to live your life. All right, well said. Aiden, how about you? I wish more adults kept the ability to dream big because a lot of people, I guess, focus on trying to have realistic goals where they lose sight of what they really want. Mm -hmm. And Spencer? I'd say innocence. And I think it's just because when you grow up, you start to lose that little spark in childhood that made you such a child. All right. Um, advanced math and science, Shashank, how about you? Uh, I would say their playful spirit. So uh, their ability to engage in all kinds of different behaviors that uh, adults just can't engage in because they have to live practical lives. Mm -hmm. It's kind of sad that it does. OK, Abhinav. For me, it's taking risks, like whether it's learning a new skill or trying a new sport or something. Um, that's something that kids have that adults don't. And uh, Ani? Uh, I think a lot of adults nowadays don't appreciate rap music as much as we do. Okay, and finally you, Tim. Um, I think adults should have like a more open mind towards new ideas, especially in kind of the political realm. You look on TV and everyone has their ideas and no one's willing to change them, so. All right, adults, I hope we all learned something there. <laughs> Um, here's what's going to happen. Head to head is up next. You guys have been here. You know how it works. One player from each team comes forward. Acton Boxborough, who's it going to be? Uh, Spencer is coming forward. Advanced Math and Science, who's it going to be? Shashank. So, Spencer, Shashank, let's go head to head time. Come on. All right, we're about to go head to head. I've got Shashank from Advanced Math and Science on my left and Spencer from Acton Boxborough Regional High School on my right. Guys, why don't you shake hands before we begin? And as a reminder, in the head to head round, you get 10 points for correct answers. Uh, incorrect answers, of course, will cost you 10 points, and you can uh, buzz in at any time. So the clock is set. Good luck, fellas, and here we go. Many of the stories in Arabian Nights are set in what capital city of Iraq? Yes. Baghdad? Yes. In September 2015, who announced he would seek re-election as mayor of Boston? Yes. O'Malley. No, Marty Walsh. Uh, what classic film from 1942 is based on a play called... Yes. Casablanca? Yes. What is the main gas found in the air that we breathe? Yes. Nitrogen? Yes. Uh, what poem by Edgar Allan Poe begins, Once Upon a Midnight Dreary... Yes. The Raven. Yes. What American city was the site of the 1787 Constitutional Convention? Yes. Philadelphia. Yes. In 1950, the first African-American player was drafted into the NBA by what Boston... Yes. Celtics. No, by what Boston Celtics coaches read our back. In uh, the 1630s, an economic bubble called Tulip Mania struck what country? Yes. The Netherlands. Yes. A molecule of water has how many atoms of hydrogen? Yes. Two. Yes. What is the second book in James Dashner's best-selling Maze Runner series? The Scorch Trials. Uh, basalt is an example of which of the three major rock types? Yes. Metamorphic. No, igneous. By law, the U.S. House of Representatives has how many voting members? Yes. 435. Yes. What is the capital city of Croatia? Yes. Zagreb. Yes. Uh, what alpine flower whose name means noble white is the title of a song and the sound of music? Edelweiss. Degrees of longitude are measured from a meridian that passes through what London borough? Greenwich. Yes. What New England state is the setting for the novel A Day No Pigs Would Die? Oh. Ah, that's the end of round two. Let's take a look at the score. Acton Boxborough Regional High School right now, 160 points. Advanced Math and Science, 240 points. Let's get some noise, folks. Good job, guys. Next up is the category round with the following categories. Animal House, All Hands on Deck, Match Game, Scratch That, probable cause, and all that jazz. Each category has five questions with increasing uh, point values. And players, you can confer with your teammates, but once you do buzz in, you can no longer confer. We will need your answer. So, Acton Boxborough, you've got a little ground to make up, so you get to choose the first category. What's it going to be? Animal House. 
Animal House. Questions about animals, and for 10 points, uh, what primate species is the largest of the great apes? Yes, Shashank. Gorilla? Yes, and now advanced math and science, you've got the board. We'll stick with it. This time for 15 points. Uh, what fish in the hippocampus genus is one of the few animals in which the males become pregnant and bear young? Yes, Spencer. Seahorse. Yes, you've still got the board act in Boxborough. Category. Stick with it. We'll stay with Animal House for 20 points, also known as Ursus maritimus. What bear that feeds almost exclusively on seals is the largest land carnivore on the planet? Yes, Spencer. Polar bear. Yes, you've still got the board act in Boxborough. Stick with it. Animal House for 25 points. Uh, what harmless snake is the most common and most widespread snake in New England? And by the way, is the official state reptile of Massachusetts? Yes, Alex. Garter snake. That is correct. You've still got the board act in Boxborough. Stick with it. We're going to stay with Animal House this time for 30 points. What small, colorful bird is the only bird that can truly fly backwards with precision and without the assistance of wind? Yes, Michael. The hummingbird. That is correct. Uh, you've got the board. You'll need a new category, though. All hands on deck. All hands on deck. Questions about famous ships. And for 10 points, in May 2015, what historic ship settled in a dry dock at the Charlestown Navy Yard for a three-year restoration project that will cost up to $15 million? Yes, Ani. Constitution. The USS Constitution is right. You've got the board we'll advanced math. Okay, all hands on deck for 15 points. Charles Darwin formulated his theory of evolution after returning from a voyage around the world aboard what ship? Yes, Aiden. The Beagle. Yes, and you've got the board, Acton Boxborough category. Okay. All that jazz. We're going to move to all that jazz, a new category, and uh, questions about jazz, of course, for 10 points. Lady Sings the Blues is the autobiography of what great American jazz vocalist? Yes, Michael. It's Gerald. No, advanced math, you want to try. Tim. Holly. No, Billie Holiday is the answer there. Acton Boxborough, you've got the board. Category. Scratch that. This will be a new category. And these are questions about working titles. And for 10 points, uh, what classic American novel published in 1960 was almost titled Atticus? Yes, Aiden. To Kill a Mockingbird? Yes, you've still got the board act in Boxborough. Stick, stick with it. Scratch that for 15 points. What book by Adolf Hitler was originally titled Four and a Half Years of Struggle Against Lies, Stupidity, and Cowardice? Mein Kampf. Mike, yes, uh, you've still got the board act in Boxborough. Probable cause. We're going to move to probable cause. These are questions about probability, and please express your answer as a fraction, not as a percentage, and for 10 points. In lowest terms, what is the probability of tossing a fair coin three times and getting tails each time? Yes, Alex. One out of eight. Yes, you've still got the board act in Boxborough. Match game? We're going to match game. The new category, complete the following analogies, and for 10 points, the United States is to Washington, D.C., as New Zealand is to what? Shashank. Wellington. Yes, and you've got the board. Advanced math category. Match game. Match game for 15 points. William Shakespeare is to Elizabethan as Oscar Wilde is to what? Yes, Shashank. Victorian. Yes, you've still got the board. Advanced. Keep going. Uh, match game for 20 points. Jewish is to kosher as Islamic is to what? Shashank. <laughs> Acton Boxborough, Aiden, you were in. What do you Hello. say? Yeah, that is correct. And now Acton Boxborough, you've got the board category. All that jazz. All that jazz, this time for 15 points. It don't mean a thing if it ain't got that swing was written by what legendary composer and band leader known for his sophisticated style? Spencer. Duke Ellington. Yes, you've still got the board act in Boxborough. Probable cause. Going to probable cause for 15 points. A box contains eight red shirts, six blue shirts, and 10 yellow shirts. In lowest terms, what is the probability of randomly selecting a red shirt? Shashank. One third. Yes, that's correct. You've got the board advanced math. Stick with it. Probable cause for 20 points. A piggy bank contains two quarters, three dimes, four nickels, and five pennies. One coin is removed at random. What is the probability in lowest terms that the coin is a dime or a nickel? Yes, Abhinav. Seven twelfths. No, Acton Boxmore, Spencer. One half. Yes. Acton Boxmore, you've got the board. Category. What's Scratch it be? that this time for 20 points. Uh, what Peter Benchley novel was originally conceived as a comedy and titled, What's That Notion on My Leg? <laughs> Jaws. Uh, Acton Boxborough, you've still got the board category. 
All hands on deck. All hands on deck for 20 points. In 1768, James Cook commanded what British Royal Navy research vessel on his first voyage of discovery to the South Pacific? Yeah, Shashank. Victory? No, Acton Boxborough. You want to try? They say no. The answer, the endeavor. But Acton Boxborough, you've got the board. Category? All that jazz. All that jazz. This time for 20 points. The seminal album Kind of Blue was recorded in 1959 by what jazz trumpeter? Aiden. Miles Davis. Yes, you've still got the board act in Boxborough. Category? Scratch that. Scratch that for 25 points. To avoid confusion with a 1960 film Ocean's Eleven, what author ruled out Catch Eleven as the title of his new book and instead chose Catch 22? Yes, Shashan. Heller. Joseph Heller is right. You have got the board advanced math category. Finish it off. Scratch that for 30 points. On the Road to West Egg was a working title for what American novel published in 1925? Yes, Tim. The Great Gatsby. That is correct. You'll need a new category, though. All hands on deck. All hands on deck for 25 points. Sebastian Younger's book, The Perfect Storm, is about what commercial fishing vessel that disappeared off the coast of Nova Scotia in 1991? The Andrea Gale is the answer there. In advance, Matt, we'll you've still got the it. board. You're going to stay with all hands on deck this time for 30 points. A shipwreck discovered in 1996 off the coast of North Carolina turned out to be what famous flagship used by the pirate Blackbeard? Yes, Tim. Queen Anne's Revenge. That is correct. You've got the board category. You'll need a new one. Probable cause. Probable cause for 25 points. A house has two cats, one white and one black. In lowest terms, what is the probability that both cats are female? Yes, Aiden. One fourth. Yes, that's correct. You've got the board back act in Boxborough category. Uh, match game. Match game for 25 points. The Battle of Gettysburg is to Pennsylvania as the Battle of Vicksburg is to what? Yes, Abinav. Mississippi. Yes, you've got the board. Stick with it. Stick with it. Uh, match game for 30. Oxygen is to Joseph Priestley as hydrogen is to whom? Henry Cavendish, the answer. You've still got control. Probable cause. Probable cause. This time for 30 points. Uh, you roll a pair of six-sided dice in lowest terms. What is the probability of getting a five as the sum of the two dice? Yes, Ani. 11 out of 36. No, Acton Boxborough, you want to try it? They say no. Answer is one in nine. Advanced math, you've still got control. And there's only one category, all that jazz, and it's worth 25 points. Uh, jazz greats, including Duke Ellington, Cab Calloway, and Ethel Waters, all performed at what celebrated nightclub on Lenox Avenue in Harlem that was open during Prohibition? Yes, Alex. De Apollo? No, advanced math, you want to try it? The Cotton Club. And uh, I've got one more question. All that jazz for 30 points. In 1997, the jazz composition Blood on the Fields became the first non-classical piece to win a Pulitzer Prize in music. It was composed by what renowned trumpeter from New Orleans? Yes, Spencer. Armstrong. No, advanced math. You want to try it. The answer, Wynton Marsalis. And there is the bell ending the category round. The score right now, Acton Boxborough, 335 points. Advanced Math and Science, 310 points. It's a close one. Okay, we're heading into the final 90 seconds of game play. It's the lightning round, and uh, you get 20 points for each correct answer. Incorrect answers in this round will cost you 20 points. The clock is set. Teams, good luck, and here we go. In 2008, Fidel Castro stepped down as president of what? Yes, Cuba. Right. Yes. Uh, what mineral that is essential for bone formation is the most abundant? Yes, Tim. Calcium. Yes. In 1756, Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart was born in what present day? Yes. Sushan. Austria. Yes. Uh, what Scottish novelist wrote The Strange Case of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde? Stevenson. Yes. yes. Uh, the sack of Rome in 410 AD was led by what Visigoth king? Yes, Shashank. Alaric. Yes. Uh, name the only prime number between 50 and 55. Yes, honey. 53? Yes. Sicily is the largest island in what sea? Yes. Mediterranean? Yes. Peggy Lee voiced twin Siamese cats named Sai and Am in what Disney film? Yes, honey. The Aristocats? 
No, Lady and the Tramp, also known as M42. What bright nebula is named after a hunter from Greek myth? Yes, Shashank. Orion? Yes. Legendary football coach Newt Rockney led what university to three national championships? Notre Dame. Uh, Hemingway's The Sun Also Rises describes the annual running of the bulls in what? Yes, Spencer. Spain? No, what Spanish city? Pamplona. In 1945, what former prime minister of Vichy, France was executed? Yes, Shashank. Patan? No, Pierre Laval. In 2015, actor J.K. Simmons won an Oscar for his role as a music instructor in what film? Whiplash. Yes. Uh, what is the most densely populated U.S. state? Yes, I mean, uh, New Jersey. Yes, what hero of Greek mythology? Whoa! What a round on High School Quiz Show. The winner this week, Advanced Math and Science Academy with a total score of 410 points. Acton Buckler, of course, the runner-up with 375 points. Advanced Math and Science will move on now to the semifinals. So make sure you tune in and we'll see you back here for a high school quiz show next week. Once again, folks, great job. Check out High School Quiz Show on YouTube for full episodes and bonus features. Visit our website at highschoolquizshow.org. You can also follow us on Facebook and Twitter. High School Quiz Show is available on Xfinity TV on demand from Comcast. Report a claim, pay your bill. Safety's mobile app is just one more way we help you manage life's storms. For auto, home, and business, ask your independent agent about safety insurance. Production of WGBH.